31. Which statement is correct? Atmospheric carbon dioxide is not a cause of climate change. No. Actually, carbon dioxide causes global warming and is a cause of climate change. Atmospheric carbon monoxide is produced by complete combustion of carbon containing fuels. No. Carbon monoxide is produced by incomplete combustion of carbon containing fuel and it is carbon dioxide that is produced by complete combustion of carbon containing fuels. Burning natural gas decreases the level of carbon dioxide in atmosphere. No, when natural gas burns, carbon dioxide is produced and it increases the level of it in atmosphere. So it's wrong. Option D, decomposition of vegetation causes an increase in atmospheric methane. Yes, that's correct option. We have studied about this in chapter 10, chemistry of environment. 32. A plastic combusts to form sulfur dioxide and hydrogen chloride. How could both gases can be removed from air? Both of these gases are acidic and these can be removed by treating them with something that is basic. Look at option A. Pass the gases over solid anhydrous cobalt to chloride. This is used to test for presence of water. It has nothing to do with detection of sulfur dioxide and HCl. So it's wrong. Pass the gases over solid damp calcium oxide. Calcium oxide is basic and it can react with both SO2 and HCl. So that's correct option. Pass the gases through catalytic converter. Catalytic converter actually uh, reduces nitrogen dioxide to nitrogen and is used to remove oxides of nitrogen and not sulfur dioxide and HCl. It's <clears throat> incorrect. Option D, pass the gases through filter paper. No, there is no such filter paper that can filter sulfur dioxide and hydrogen chloride gases. Question 33, which equation represents photosynthesis? In photosynthesis, carbon dioxide and water are reacted together and glucose plus oxygen are obtained as products. Option A and option B are completely wrong because reactants and products are incorrect. If you look at option C and D, the reactants and products both are fine in both of these options. But if you look at option C, the equation is not balanced. Here we have six carbon atoms and they are multiplying carbon dioxide by three. So equation is not balanced. D is perfect. Which statement defines the structural isomers? Look at option A. They are compounds with same displayed formula. No, they have different displayed formula, but a different molecular formula. No, they have same molecular formula. Option B. They are compounds with same molecular. Yes, and same displayed formula. No, but a different structural formula. That's correct. Option C. They are compounds with same molecular formula but different structural formula yes both the things that are mentioned in this option are correct option d they are compounds with same structural formula no structural isomers have different structural formula and different displayed formula uh, but they have same molecular formula question 35 petroleum is mixture of different hydrocarbons which process is used to separate petroleum into groups of similar hydrocarbons. So the experimental process that is used in this case is fractional distillation. Which equation representing a reaction of methane is correct? In this equation, methane is reacting with chlorine. Methane is a saturated hydrocarbon and reaction of methane with chlorine is a substitution reaction in which one or more hydrogen atoms are replaced by chlorine atoms like happening in this case, the result is chloromethane and hydrogen chloride. Uh, this equation seems correct. Look at option B, CH4 plus Cl2. There is only a single product in this and it shows addition reaction, but saturated compounds don't undergo addition reactions. Addition reactions is a property of unsaturated compounds like alkenes. That's incorrect. Look at option C, methane reacting with chlorine to produce 
dichloromethane hydrogen gas is evolved from this reaction so again that is incorrect hydrogen gas is not produced when methane reacts with chlorine option d methane reacting with chlorine producing chloromethane chlorine gas hydrogen gas no such gases are produced when methane reacts with chlorine again it is incorrect question 37 ethanol can be prepared by fermentation or by catalytic addition of steam to ethene which row shows an advantage and a disadvantage for each process so let's start with option a advantage of fermentation is that it is a batch process it is actually a disadvantage not an advantage the disadvantage is that fermentation is a slow reaction yes that's correct Catalytic addition of steam to ethane has advantage that it is a continuous process. Yes, that is an advantage. Disadvantage is that it is a fast reaction. No, that is not a disadvantage. It is an advantage. Now let's have a look over option B. Fermentation is fast reaction. No, fermentation is a slow process. And secondly, fermentation is a continuous process. No, fermentation is a batch process. Then comes to advantage of catalytic addition pure ethanol formed yes this is an advantage and disadvantage is that a renewable raw material no actually ethene is non-renewable and that is a disadvantage of catalytic addition so it's incorrect option c in fermentation the raw material is renewable yes the raw material in fermentation is renewable but it has disadvantage that it is a batch process that also seems correct catalytic addition of steam produces pure ethanol yes that's correct and disadvantage is that it is a slow reaction no actually catalytic addition of steam to ethene is a fast reaction that's not correct look at option d a renewable raw material yes that's true we have already talked about that in option c and in fermentation impure ethanol formed yes the ethanol that is formed in fermentation is around 12 to 14 percent pure because above this concentration the enzymes that are carrying out this reaction become inactive so that's also correct and catalytic addition of steam to ethene is a fast reaction yes this is advantage of this process and disadvantage of this process is that ethene is finite so because it is non-renewable so all the statements are correct in this option d question 38 part of the structure of a polymer is shown which monomer is used to make this polymer first identify repeating unit in this structure so here is the repeating unit one carbon atom has methyl group on one side and hydrogen atom on other side while the second carbon atoms has chlorine on one side and fluorine on other side now look at option a a one carbon is having methyl group it should be having hydrogen atom on other side but it has fluorine on other side connected with this that's incorrect look at option b methyl on one side hydrogen on other side that's correct look at the second carbon it has chlorine on one side and fluorine on other side yes that seems correct this is our right option now let's talk about option c this carbon has methyl group on one side and chlorine on other sides that's not correct option d methyl on one side and the chlorine on other side again it's incorrect so option b is correct question 39 five steps in an acid-based titration are shown one slowly add the acid from burette into conical flask until indicator becomes colorless add thymolthaline use volumetric pipette to add a fixed volume of alkali to a conical flask read and record the initial volume of acid read and record the final volume of acid what is the correct order of these steps to complete an acid based titration okay in an acid based titration we start with a conical flask and we add fixed volume of alkali to conical flask so the third will be the first one in titration and then we add indicator to this conical flask 
so here this option 2 will be after 3 3 then 2 uh, and then we read and record the initial volume of acid in burette so then comes this fourth and after recording the initial volume we slowly add the acid from burette until the indicator becomes colorless and after this we read and record the final volume of acid in burette so that is the correct sequence 3 then 2 then 4 then 1 and then 5 here b option seems correct question 40 a student does paper chromatography on mixture of amino acids the student sprays the dried chromatogram with a locating agent what is the function of locating agent okay sometimes the components in a mixture are colorless so to identify those we use locating agents the purpose of locating agent is to form colored spots with amino acids option b is correct and locating agent is not used to dissolve amino acids we don't need to preserve the amino acids and we don't want to stop amino acids reacting actually they are not reacting here b option is correct